now understanding there has been a major lapse in Aditya Thakre's security. The Sena is claiming his security undermined after Home Department failed to send vehicles for security personnel. Remember, Aditya Thakre is currently uh, on a tour in Ratnagiri. Home Department, remember, is also under Devendra Fadnavis. Uh, what we're also understanding is that Aditya Thakre has Z security cover. But the Sena is claiming that his security has been undermined after Home Department failed to send vehicles for security personnel. The Sena that we're talking about is the Uddhav Thakre camp. Let's really understand what really has happened and what is the allegation and claim coming in from the Uddhav Thakre camp. Vinaya joining us with more details. Vinaya, what is the claim that is being made by the Uddhav Thakre camp? Well, Ritamba, now the claim by the Shiv Sena is that there has been a major security lapse for Aditya Thakre's security. The Sena has also asked questions about who will be responsible in case there's a law and order issue and in case there's any problem. Uh, remember, Aditya Thakre has a Z security cover. He is in Ratnagiri today for his Shiv Samvad Yatra. Now, while on tour, the security cover continues. Uh, but uh, the Shiv Sena has now said that while the police personnel have come, they haven't been given their vehicles. And that is why uh, they have had to uh, hire private vehicles in which they have had to come. This is being seen as a major breach in the security of uh, the Shiv Sena leader. And that is why uh, we are seeing that the Shiv Sena has now claimed that there is a major breach of security. Uh, there is no response as yet from the Home Department. This also gets political overtures because remember the Home Department is headed by Devendra Fatnavas, who is the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Uh, so Shiv Sena here claiming that there is a major security lapse for Aditya Thakre while he's on tour in Ratnagiri uh, and uh, vehicles have failed to reach there despite uh, the leader having a Z security cover. As of now, we still await a response from the Home Department about whether they consider this as a lapse and what was the reason uh, for uh, not providing vehicles uh, for the security personnel who are in service of the sec uh, of Aditya Thakre's security cover. Back to you, Ritima. Vinay, as you rightly pointed out, this is going to lead into a political war of words. What will be interesting to see will be the kind of response that we get from the Home Department. What is the Uddhav Thakre Sena claiming and what are they demanding at this point? There is really no demand per se. Uh, Ritima, this is something that has been red flagged as of now, saying that this is a major security breach uh, in the security of Aditya Thakre. Remember uh, that the entire Thakre family uh, enjoys a security cover because of the kind of threat perception that is there for the family. Uh, Aditya Thakre uh, has a Z security cover, and that is why wherever uh, he goes, the police personnel and the security staffers follow him because of the security uh, protocol that is existent now uh, for the last few days. We have seen the political tussle in Maharashtra. Uh, we have seen how ugly it has turned. And on that background, the Shiv Sena claiming that there is a major lapse in the security of Aditya Thakre becomes serious because uh, then, as uh, I, I was saying, it clearly has political overtures and then this can lead uh, to a political war of words as well. At this time, the Shiv Sena claims that this is a major security lapse uh, and in case there is a law and order situation, uh, then uh, who will be held responsible for this at a time when in the state government, the Home Department is being headed by Devendra Fadnavis back to Vinaya, just for clarity for our viewers, because you pointed out that Aditya Thakri does enjoy a Z security cover. So when he's on a tour, like he is presently in Ratnagiri, what is the kind of security that comes with the Z security cover? Well, uh, we, we see that the Z security cover is uh, a, a kind of permanent feature in the sense of wherever he goes, that security cover follows him. So irrespective of whether he's in Mumbai or whether he's out of station in Maharashtra, the security cover has to continue. Now, now that involves a pose of police personnel, uh, you know, staffers with respect to security and the uh, vehicles. So there's a protocol that is being followed uh, when it comes uh, to the security cover. Now, that protocol has been breached is what the Shiv Sena has claimed as of now at a time uh, when uh, the leader is continuously uh, on a visit. Uh, you know, he, he's been undertaking tours of Maharashtra through his Shiv Samvad Yatra. We've been seeing that uh, he has gone several places. We've seen response as well, the kind of response that he has been garnered. The Shiv Sena fears that this kind of breach uh, 
the, this kind of lapse in the security, I beg your pardon, uh, can lead to any issues and that, uh, you know, uh, it is the state government's responsibility to fulfill uh, these conditions when it comes to the safety and security of some prom uh, prominent leaders. And that is why uh, the Shiv Sena claims that the, this is a major lapse which should not go unnoticed. As of now, as I said, we still await any response from the Home Department about uh, whether they consider this as a lapse and, okay. uh, you know, any, any reasons behind vehicles not being given to security personnel uh, during such an outdoor tour of the Shiv Sena leader. Back to you, Ritima. Okay, Vinaya, thanks a lot for getting us all those details.